Cobb, the best fighter in the world. Woo! Going up against AB. It's your boy AB, aka About Billions, aka Always Balling, aka Always Buying. So they had their press conference today with Don King. And shout out to OG Don. Don 92. That is a wild. 92. He's been in the game for what, 50 something years? Maybe even longer. But they had a press conference. They got a fight this Saturday. Please make sure I support it. It's going to be $39.99. And this is really make or break for either for both of them. Both of them are known for trash talking. Uh, Adrian Broner clearly is the bigger star. But if Adrian Broner loses, you know, we don't know. You know, we don't. This is going to be the end of the road for Adrian. And he did say that as well. He said that everybody turned their back on him but Don. And same thing with Blair. Like I said, I like Blair. They're both entertaining. If you want to put butts in the seats, a lot of times you got to have a, a character that comes with you. You know, you just got to make sure that the art doesn't imitate life in a way. But it was a great conference. Uh, Adrian Broner, he started, he came in late. Blair Cobb had that puppet. Speaking for AB, then AB comes in and apologizes and says he was trying to make weight. I'm gonna make weight. He was working out and he in shape and he can fight right now. He started talking about, you know, uh, they start talking about Blair Cobb brought it with a parrot. And <laughs> Adrian Boner said, We moving these birds for real in the streets. Holla at me. But okay. I'm I'm excited for the fight. I wanna see A B or Blair come up, you know, especially Let's just let's just focus on AB. When it come to AB, AB was supposed to be he was he had marketed himself to the next Floyd, and he honestly had he not lost to Madonna to Madonna and focused purely on boxing, he could have been up there with Floyd as far as selling tickets, because a lot of people started to to like him and a lot of people started to hate him. And you know AB was on his ninja stuff, you know uh, uh, tearing up money, dancing rapping he went on tour with Lil Wayne and T.I. and M. and A.B.'s one of them people who had chance after chance after chance you know against Sean Porter people rooted for him against was it Mikey Garcia people rooted for him and even against Manny Pacquiao people still was hoping that A.B. would beat Manny Pacquiao and be back up on his feet so he's one of the fighters that can take losses and people still gonna ride with him but you know he's had a lot of uh a lot of personal battles that he that he's been facing and some that he's even acknowledged and i know recently his coach had passed away my coach mike stafford rest in peace and many other things that's taking a toll on him you know same thing with blair blair you know blair's had his own hiccups as well but again you see him with don king and again shout out to don for still giving these fighters a chance now some of y'all gonna come my comment section and say how you know much of a shrewd of a businessman don is or whatever, but I respect the fact that he's giving at 92. Don ain't got to do nothing. Don got enough money to go sit on the island the rest of his days, but he's still out here trying to promote fights, and he's giving Adrian Broner a chance when nobody else will give them a chance. We'll, we'll give Adrian Broner a chance. Do y'all remember when Adrian Broner was offered 40 million by Jay Z and, and turned it down? And not only did he turn it down, but he sneak dissed them or flat out dissed them as well. But all overall, the press conference was good. Let me go back to the press conference. Press conference was good. Um, please support the fight if y'all want to see it. I believe Adrian Boner is going to beat Blair Cobb. But we'll see. AB going to have to let his hands go, honestly. If he don't let his hands go, Blair going to walk, going to dog walk him. But, you know, it's all entertainment. And, and one more thing. Shout out to Tank Davis for giving Adrian Broner a platform. There's a lot of things I disagree with Tank on, especially with the whole... You know, him riding with Ryan Garcia and the whole uh, P PD usage. But I can respect the fact that Tank is able to put Adrian Bone on a platform. Because remember, at one point, AB a was bigger. And he was the one who put Tank on with Floyd. So now you see that Tank is repaying a favor. So, man, shout out to Tank, man, for even putting Adrian, you know, let Adrian be around. And they've been training together. So that's good to see, man, from the two brothers. But no, it was an explosive press conference. Make sure y'all watch it if y'all wasn't able to. Uh, Fight High, Fight Hub, and a couple other people have them on their platforms as well. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.